Hi, in this video of Angular 2, we will discuss about interpolation. Interpolation is a very important concept of Angular 2, which will help us out in putting the values of the property over the browser. So as so far we have seen like how to define a property and how to assign a value using the TypeScript components. Now here we will see how to print those particular, particular values in the HTML file so that in the browser a user will be able to see those values. So whenever it's about interpolation, you will be using these double curly braces means this flower kind symbol inside which you will put the name of the property and that will be printed over the browser. That is not only used to print the property values, apart from that you can also call the method if it is returning anything that will get printed inside that. You can also write the expressions like if you have the properties like first name and last name and you want to concatenate them to show the full name, you can do that as well in the interpolation. So let's see a practical implementation for the interpolation in Angular 2. So as in the implementation of nested component in the previous video, we have created this example. So let's continue with the same for the implementation of interpolation as we have already implemented interpolation in this particular example by the time I started creating this HTML or any of the HTML like whether it's app component or this employee. By the time I started putting this double curly braces, here is the interpolation comes into the picture. So basically, this is something called the for the binding and along with the binding, that is the interpolation, you can also pass some of the expressions. We will give a look to that as well. But for now, as we can see, name, there is a property in the app component.ts which is showing the data right here in this index.html and we have used that here. Similarly, in the employees, we have created few properties like first name, last name, salary department and here we have shown all of those informations using the interpolation. So when I talk about interpolation, it's not just that you can pass the name of the property along with that you can also pass some method names or expressions so let's give a look to that so for now if I will do some changes like in the first name I will do like leave the first name salary will be more suitable like if I'll say 5000 into 10 all right or let's do some other value into 20 all right so right now it's 50,000 out here, but as soon as I will save this, obviously the change will be there, all right? And now the value is changed. So similarly, you can just use the expressions as well as I just shown you here. Along with that, you can also pass some of the method names. As in the previous example itself, here I created a method called EMP name which is returning you a string value and what it is actually doing it is just concatenating the first name and the last name along with the space so if rather than showing the first name and last name separately if I want to show the full name I can do that as well so for that let me just add one row I can also remove these first two rows but I'm just keeping them also and here I will say full name and here what I'll do, I will just say the function name and the function name here is EMP name. So what I'll do, I'll just put the same thing here along with the parenthesis. So let me save it. And as soon as I'll do that, you can see here is the full name. So this is how you can go with the interpolation. That is, you can use the property name, you can use the expressions or you can also call the method names. So this is all about the interpolation in Angular.